By the end of their appearance on My 600 Pound Life, Amber Rochdi had already made great strides toward living a healthier lifestyle. In the years since, they become nearly unrecognizable. Amber Rochdi began their weight loss journey as a participant on season 3 of TLC's My 600 Pound Life. At the time, they were 23 years old and weighed 657 pounds. When their saga began, they lived at home with their parents, but unlike many others who have appeared on the show, they had the unwavering support from their mom, dad, and brother. Amber's story was especially poignant because they were so young. Lymphedema in both of their legs made it difficult for Rochdi to walk or stand for long periods of time. Yet to be a participant on the show, they had to travel from their home in Oregon to Houston, Texas for treatment. For Rochdi and their parents, the journey was more than just long and arduous. It was also humiliating. Rochdi was forced to pay for two tickets on the airplane, met with indifference by airline staff when they asked for help, and had to travel by luggage cart to the gate when their wheelchair malfunctioned outside of the terminal. During the episode, Rochdi referred to themselves in derogatory terms, even using the word monster to describe their own appearance. After meeting with Dr. Nauzardin, Rochdi returned home and began implementing a new diet and exercise plan. It was a high-protein, low-carb eating plan that allowed for around 1,200 calories per day, a maximum of three daily meals, and absolutely no snacking. Limiting their caloric intake proved challenging for Rochdi, who, like many participants on My 600 Pound Life, used food as a comfort tool. They relocated to Houston shortly after their first doctor's appointment to be closer to the treatment center and circumvent the need to fly again. I feel bad that everybody has to uproot their lives for me, but I'm thankful they will be there for me. Rochdi took their mother, father, brother, and boyfriend, Rowdy, with them to Houston, traveling by car. Once there, they began the next steps of their journey, setting healthy goals for themselves, such as being able to drive again, finishing college, and having a family of their own. With these objectives in place, along with the help and support of their parents, brother, and Rowdy, Rochdi was able to lose 17 pounds in just the first month, following their way in at the clinic. While it wasn't the transformative amount of weight loss that Dr. Now often requests of his patients in the first few weeks, it was enough to convince him that Rochdi was ready for bariatric surgery. At the conclusion of their episode, Rochdi had lost nearly 280 pounds in one year's time. Their final weight was revealed during a celebratory zoo trip with their boyfriend Rowdy, near the end of the episode. It was more than just a day out for Rochdi, it was the couple's first real date, despite the fact that they'd been together for several years. I'm no longer just Amber of one room, Amber of one floor of one house. Though they still had issues with lymphedema, they had realized their goal of once again fitting behind the wheel of a car. They had learned to enjoy clothes shopping again and expressed satisfaction that they were finally taking responsibility for their health. They had gained the confidence they needed to face life head on and decided it was time to encourage their brother, Omar, to return home to Oregon. At their final weigh-in on the show, Rochdi had reached a low of 390 pounds, a number they hadn't seen in over a decade. At their final visit with Dr. Now, he recommended skin removal surgery for Rochdi when they reached 250 pounds. Having built a self-care routine they felt comfortable and proud in acting, Rochdi concluded their time on My 600 Pound Life with great optimism. Rochdi elected not to appear for a follow-up in My 600 Pound Life, Where Are They Now? Telling Starcasm, their experience working on the show was disorganized and jarring. However, they have continued to keep fans in the loop about their progress via social media. Rochdi's Instagram feed is filled with selfies of the reality star as they celebrate various accomplishments on their weight loss journey. One post showed them fitting into a pair of jeans they hadn't worn since high school. They seem to be much more at peace with their self-image, and occasionally they even make light of how they appear in certain photos. In one post, Rochdi humorously captioned a selfie, I'm not attractive, I just have great eyebrows. In the majority of their photos, Rochdi models new hairstyles, makeup looks they found online, and glamorous clothing. Rochdi's sense of humor and humility are palpable throughout their online presence, which suggests they're still feeling positive about the work they've done on themselves in the past few years. Fans who watched Amber Rochdi's episode on My 600 Pound Life remember their struggles with fear, anxiety, and low self-esteem. I feel like I'm a pretty disappointing kid to have, and I think I would have a hard time as a parent coping with having a kid like me. On the show, they talked about feeling hopeless and wondering whether it was even worth it to try and lose the weight. They admitted they had an unhealthy relationship with food and that they felt humiliated and tired most of the time. These days, however, much of those feelings have changed. While Rajdi certainly looks different than they did on the show, their attitude seems to have also evolved considerably. Where Rajdi once referred to themselves using derogatory language, 
they now display a much kinder self-perception. They often express that they feel proud of their appearance on Instagram, and their social media feed is jam-packed with body positivity and inspiration for others who struggle with similar issues. Near the end of their My 600 Pound Life episode, it was also revealed that Rachdi had joined a gym and begun seeing a therapist to find new ways to cope mentally without food. All in all, it seems they've found new ways to work through problems and manage their feelings, and they're more than ready to display their progress publicly. Though they have since deleted their Twitter account, Rachdi was active on the platform for several years following their appearance on My 600 Pound Life. Back in 2016, they even used the platform to announce their engagement, writing, Who is getting hella married? I'm getting hella married. In the post, Rajdi showed off a heart-shaped engagement ring but failed to mention them by name. In a separate Twitter post, several years later, they referred to him as Steve. When a fan asked if their intended was Rowdy, their boyfriend on the show, they responded that they had actually broken up but remained good friends. In fact, Rochdi even tweeted that after their breakup, Rowdy remained an important source of support for the reality star. Rochdi has not publicly mentioned whether they have children. However, they did post an image on Instagram with the single word caption, MomGoth. The cryptic post had fans asking if Rochdi was a mother, with some even offering their congratulations. Rochdi replied to these inquiries by specifying that they did not have a, quote, human child, which may imply that they've got some pets they keep off screen as well. While not everyone who appears on My 600 Pound Life maintains the momentum they build on the show, Rochdi didn't look back once after their first visit with Dr. Now. While there were many factors that went into their resilient dedication to changing, the support of their social media fans is likely another factor in Rochdi's ongoing success. Followers regularly post comments complimenting Rochdi's appearance, to which Rochdi occasionally replies with thanks or an explanation of their new nail trend or hairstyle. It's heartening to see Rochdi interact with their followers in such an outgoing and joyful manner, especially after viewing the beginning of Amber's story, where they talk about all the ways they felt insecure about themselves. It seems after spending much of the first part of their life housebound and surrounded by only a few trusted family members, Rochdi has blossomed into an outgoing, confident young person who's unafraid to push back against hateful comments and negativity. As Amber Rochdi continues to find success on their weight loss journey, it seems their true personality has begun to shine. Two years after their episode aired, they posted a very Marilyn Monroe-inspired image on Instagram, complete with blonde hair and a bright red lip, with the caption, I may have cut all my hair off. Rochdi's pose and appearance are strikingly similar to the 50s icon, and fans immediately made the connection. The post accumulated more than 3,000 likes and a slew of positive comments from admirers. Rochdi continues to evolve and show off their style, often making posts where they model outfits and sing the praises of foam rollers and various accessories. It's likely Rochdi was interested in these things all along, but feelings of anxiety, depression, and low self-esteem pushed them to the back, where they may have been forgotten even before they were ever acknowledged. For those following along in their transformation, the change is nothing short of inspiring. There's no doubt that by sharing so many steps of their journey online, They've inspired thousands of followers to pursue their personal goals as well. Headshots are a largely recurring theme on Rachdi's Instagram. Often, bolder fans will request full-body pics of the reality star, and Rachdi will sometimes acquiesce to their requests. In December 2019, they posted a full-body selfie to Instagram with the caption, By popular request, not a headshot, I'll never be thin, but I think I've made peace with it. Wearing blue jeans and an off-the-shoulder black top, both Rochdi's caption and stance emanated the immense confidence they have built over the last few years. It seems that there are still a few personal topics that Rochdi chooses to remain silent about online. To date, it's unclear how much weight Rochdi has continued to lose, whether they had their skin removal surgery or whether they are still plagued by lymphedema. While fans may never again see Rochdi appear on a reality television show, they can still follow their life-affirming posts on social media for inspiration and body positivity. And they can always stream Amber's story on My 600 Pound Life to revisit how far they've come. <laughs>